So what we have here is a mountain rescue team lifts an injured trekker directly upwards and out of a sinkhole by means of a motor driven cable. The lift is performed in three stages, each requiring a vertical distance of 10 meters. So initially the trekker is accelerated to a speed of 5 meters per second. He is then lifted at a constant speed of 5 meters per second. And then finally he is decelerated to zero speed. And the question is how much work is done on the 80 kilogram trekker by the force lifting him during each stage. So in the first stage, the man is accelerated up to a speed of 5 meters per second. So work done by the force of gravity is W1 is equal to minus force of gravity into displacement, which equals minus MGD, which equals minus 80 into 9.8 into 10, which equals minus 7000. 840 joules. Now the work done to accelerate her up by the lifting force is let us say W2 that we have to find then using work energy theorem W1 plus W2 or the total work done should equal the change of kinetic energy which is K final minus K initial. So substituting values we get minus 7840 plus W2 is equal to half into 80 into 5 square minus 0 and why 0 because he started from rest or what we find is w2 is equal to 8840 joules now stage b is where the speed is constant and therefore we can simply use a formula w plus work done by gravity is equal to delta k but since the velocity does not change, delta k is 0 or w is equal to minus wg, which equals minus minus 80 into 9.8 into 10, which equals 7840 joules. Stage c is deceleration and approach would be quite the same as in stage a. The only difference is that now the velocity is changing from 5 meters per second to 0, that is the kinetic energy is reducing. So work done by the force of gravity is W1 is equal to minus Fg into D, that is the force of gravity into displacement, which equals minus Mgd, which equals minus 80 into 9.8 into 10, which equals minus 7840 joules. It does not change because the direction of force continues to be the same and the direction of displacement also continues to remain the same. The work done to decelerate her up by the lifting force is let us say W2. Again using the work energy theorem, W1 plus W2 that is the total work done should equal to the change in kinetic energy which is Kf minus K initial and substituting values we get minus 7840 plus w2 is equal to 0 minus half into 8 into 5 square or w2 is equal to 6840 joules